the worst possible segment for a podcast listener. I am, I'm really, really going to enjoy my time with you in Scotland. <laughs> Don't get any ideas from the show. So, yeah. the, uh, this is your headshot. Was that your first headshot? This is my first headshot from uh, drama school. I was 20 years old. Wow. Um, and <laughs> Look at that chiseled jaw. Look at that. I was trying to... Uh, I was like, I want to be taken seriously as a dramatic actor. Um, and I wanted to play bad guys, so I was trying to like channel a little, without too much, because you're not supposed to have really any expression in the headshot, you're supposed to be quite blank. Right. So I was trying to like imbue just a little bit of, um, yeah. Sort of, Those soft lips scream evil. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me like that, don't look. Oh, uh, okay, let's go to the next one. You've studied that picture, right? <laughs> Yeah. I pulled that off my wall. So this I pulled out of my nightmare last night. Uh, that's you as a clown? No, don't do that, don't do that. That's what? me as a clown. <laughs> what the hell is that, Sam? <laughs> so this is actually in, um, in Buenos Aires. Um, I was doing a show called Batman Live, and it was uh, like a, a stage version of Batman, like a Cirque show, but like a story, and there was like flying and fighting and all this stuff. And uh, that night, <coughs> my understudy was on as Batman and Bruce Wayne, so I, I sneaked into the clown costume and went on as a clown. Uh, at the very start, they're at the circus and the Graysons are out, and there's this car drives around and all the clowns fall off. And I'm like, I can do this. So I fall off the stage and I'm in the front row is like where the front row is here and I look up and it was the producer and 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 DC Comics like head producer <laughs> and they're all just looking at me like what the hell are you doing? <laughs> uh, speaking of Batman, let's go to the next one. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There you go. With his green bottle. Those are yeah, what is that? That's uh, it's just a water bottle. Uh, that's in rehearsals. Um, that's like quite early on, but you can see it's a big suit and you sweat a lot. Those are those are your real muscles. I take. Those are real muscles. Yeah, yeah. I still have the the Batman tattoo on my stomach. <laughs> in retrospect, a bad choice, but whatever. Uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, yeah, Spy Who Dumped Me. Those guys were pretty funny. You learned something from working with uh, Mila and Kate? Oh my god, those two are brilliant. Um, yeah, Mila and, and Kate. You can see Kate. I mean, look at her. It's <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. Um, it was so fun, and this was the first time I met them, and this is like um, almost like a, a screen test just to see like chemistry. And actually, in the in the movie, uh, we were thinking about giving him glasses, um, and they decided he, that they looked ridiculous in them. Right? So, uh, but uh, yeah, this is the first day, and I'm not sure who said what, but uh, Miller thinks I'm funny in that. <laughs> Are you, I mean, obviously I know from experience we've done a couple really fun sketches together. Mm -hmm. Have you always been game for comedy? Is that something you want to explore more of in the future? I mean, you're, you're super funny. You're awesome. Oh, thank you. I never, I never thought I was funny, and I don't think I am. I think I try too hard, but I, I, uh, I really love doing this movie because, you know, um, you know, the character, he's very like straight, stiff, uh, and then he learns to kind of you know, relax a bit and enjoy their company. And I think, you know, I learned a lot from those two. Like, like comedy is incredible. Those two are just so at the top of their game. So it's fun just to you know, like learn a bit from them. Totally. Uh, next one. Please. I don't learn anything from you. Okay. <laughs> uh, so that's Katrina. And did I miss the episode when 50 Cent was on? No? Yeah. Yeah, he's in. <laughs> in season two, uh, <laughs> a crossover. Do you, who are the unlikeliest like fans that you've met? Like, have you met, I mean, you must have met fellow actors, people you respect, that you're like, oh, wow, you really, you, you watch Outlander? Like, I mean, because it, it, it covers all stripes, despite like the, the stereotypes, I feel like anybody can be an Outlander. Yeah, I met, who was, well, Rita Wilson, I met um, Tom Hanks' wife, and uh, she was saying how she was a fan, and it is amazing, actually, people that, so do come up and they side up to you and they're like, oh, I actually like that. I'm like, oh, thanks, that's cool. <laughs> it's okay, say it loud and proud. Uh, next one, I think you're going to get How many weeks have you gone? Oh, that's a cute photo, isn't it? Yeah. 
You were texting me during that. I was, yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Block Horowitz. <laughs> Couple more, two more. Uh, next one. Uh, <laughs> so, there she is in all her glory. So Lady what, McTavish, as we like Yeah, to what is the story on Clamlands? When are we going to see the next expression of Clamlands? Yeah, super exciting. It was, um, you know, started off being a, uh, the idea was a podcast, and I, I just, in sort of pre-production, thought, you know what, I'm going to shoot this as much as possible, and we made it you know, really high-end, we used three three cameras and drones and GoPros, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's looking great, it's in post-production at the moment, uh, and we're in talks with a few people to, to sell it, so fingers crossed. Yeah, it's, it's silly, and, and a lot of fun, and he is just such a character. He's this, he's wonderful, he's a wonderful, he's a history buff, Graham. Um, he, he looks hard and tough as nails, but get him on a tandem bicycle. <laughs> he does not like it. Uh, one more, this is mostly for me, because I'm a big dork. Oh my god, this so is, good. This is pretty recent, you went to Galaxy's Edge pretty recently? I was uh, I went to Disneyland uh, last week, and um, I don't know if you've been, I've never really been like into, into that sort of thing, and when you walk into the galaxy's edge, it's the light you're on another on the planet. There's like stormtroopers walking around and giving you hassle, and like you go into the cantina bar and it's the robot DJ, and it's uh, you're a big kid basically. Ever had a Star Wars audition? Have you ever? Uh, there must be a bunch of these things. Never, never had a Star Wars audition um, huh? because yeah, not allowed to be. But uh, I think um, a lot of my friends have actually been in it. Um, a few people. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anyone on that land that's been in it. Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, what are the perils of having fans that potentially know the source material better than you? Is that... Yeah. That's dicey. I mean, you're supposed to be the expert, and it's like, nah, not so much. Yeah, these guys, you guys are amazing. I mean, it, it, it would be impossible, you know, where I'm on catch-up, you know. A lot of people, um, you know, met Diana's books, you know, a, a few years ago, and I think, there's, there's so vast, there's so many other 